before I had him, they said, well, the chances of him surviving is 10%. I was shocked. It was amazing. It was scary. It was surreal. Like, is this really happening? Like, this is my son right now. It's like a roller coaster with no safety harness, and it's never been ridden before. And you just have to hold on because you don't know what's going to happen. The seven months that we've been here, we've seen so many things, so many close calls, miracles that he survived. Sage had a tough start here in the NICU, born so micro preemie. So we encouraged Crystal and Scotty to take on that responsibility of just bonding with him and reading to him every day. And I think that made their bond and interaction so much stronger. Anytime you talk to him, he's smiling and happy, and it just makes you feel good, because all the stuff that he's been through, he can smile and he's happy. Just the other day, we were able to walk away from the bed without any cords and hold him like a normal baby. And that was awesome. At the end of the day, we had a staff here that we know showed love, that were taking care of our baby, and that for those moments when we couldn't be here, that he was in good hands. And if you look at him and he's smiling and he's kicking his legs and he's like the happiest baby and there's no serious issues, I feel very, 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 very blessed to come over here and we would drive five times farther than what we drove, even though, you know, traffic sometimes took two hours. We would drive five times more than that for this staff.